What happened to Carrie Culberson? Sunday, it will be 20 years since that 22-year-old and her car disappeared from Blanchester. Horror stories whipped through the small town, including the one that had her fed to a lion that guarded the junkyard of her boyfriend's family. Boyfriend Vince Doan was convicted of her murder later that year. That trial still gets national attention because he was convicted without ever finding her body. Local 12's Deborah Dixon tells us even after 20 years, this case is not closed. There was evidence of a violent relationship long before Carrie Culberson disappeared. Vince beat her several times. The photos were used in his trial. He's serving a life sentence. Justice for Carrie's family, but her mother wants something else. I just need to have her remains because I want to know where she is. Debbie can only imagine what happened to Carrie based on witness testimony. For example, the woman who lived here on Wright Street said the night Carrie disappeared, she saw Vince pulling Carrie by the hair, punching her in the face and saying, I told you if you ever tried to leave me, I'd kill you. Then there was the testimony from Vince's sister-in-law because he showed up at his half-brother Tracy's house that night. What did you see? Blood. Where did you see blood? It was on his chest, his arms, and it was on his pants. She said Vince and Tracy left with garbage bags and a rifle. Then what? That's what Debbie wants to know. It came out of the prison that she was dismembered by a chainsaw while she was alive. And of course, you picture those things in your mind. And what do you, you know what you picture? Carrie's flesh flying everywhere. She got away from some of the darkness by moving from Blanchester. There, people would tell her what they'd heard. Now she checks the Facebook page, Find Carrie Culberson. In Blanchester today, Vince's father, Lawrence Baker, said, Everyone lied in the trial. Some of them also testified in half-brother Tracy's obstruction of justice trial. He was convicted. The Blanchester Police Department was also convicted of mishandling the investigation. Part of the settlement is this sculpture at the police station of the steps a woman takes to get out of a violent relationship. Justice is one of them. For Debbie, there is another step toward peace. That's when the healing will begin, once I know what happened and where she is. Deborah Dixon, Local 12 News. Major Brad Pickett at the Clinton County Sheriff's Office said tips still come in after two years. He says we still hope to find her.